Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss about taking notes while reading. So it's very simple as the name, uh, topic itself uh, it indicates. You have to take the notes while reading. It's very important because when you start reading, when you start doing uh, research, you will have to download hundreds of papers. Imagine hundred papers you have downloaded. Out of hundred papers, not all the hundred papers are helping for your research. So maybe around 35 to 40 papers are helping for your research because where they are very closely related. Only after reading you can decide that. So those 40 papers, you need to start taking notes out of those 40 papers. How to take the notes? It's simple. When I give notes for you, you will go through the notes and you will not simply read all the points which I have given in the notes. You will make the note. You will make your own note. You will just at least highlight in that. If you are too lazy, you will just highlight or you will just simply side in the note side only you will write. Okay, in this to remember this I have to keep it like this or maybe some short forms or maybe some things that depends on the uh, depends on completely on a person. Right. So similarly in research also uh, in abstract a few points you will mention okay they have done so and so okay okay they have done so and so in uh, introduction okay these are the points I should remember then in methodology okay these are the methodology I can use it for my research and next oh, these are the results and discussion I can compare if I am going to do the research on this particular field okay if I find research gap I can compare these aspects those are the parameters you are you are going to highlight so these all things plays a very important role this itself is called as taking notes this there is no much explanation is required for taking notes while reading topic i'll just go through like that so a researcher reads to write and writes well only if the reading skills are good definitely when you are good at reading definitely you will be def good at writing also the bridge between the reading and actually writing a paper is the act of taking notes during a shortly after the process of reading once you read that whole paper immediately there only the short notes need to be taken and after one after six months also if you are writing a paper then you will still remember by just looking again you don't have to write uh, read the whole paper 20 pages 10 pages you just have to see the points what are the points so you will come to know that okay whatever i just told you in the introduction those points if you see more than enough so there is a well-known saying that the fine uh, no faintest writing is better than the best memory and it applies to researchers who need to read and build on the knowledge to write building on the notes taken that means we also we also have in uh, saying in Canada uh, or even every most of the time in every languages we say that right it's like uh, uh, like or you can say in English uh, uh, it's better to write in one time rather than reading ten times so that's how the re uh, writing plays a very important role and when you are making a, a notes you are writing and it will help for your memory also so many researchers take notes on margins of their copies of the papers or even digitally on an article aggregate i know aggregator tool so on margins only in the whole notes will be there in the in the whole paper will be there in the margins only we can take the notes or you can digitally make like comment tools are there many other tools are there that you can use in each research paper there are a lot of things that one might like to highlight for later use such as definitions explanations concepts these all things you can highlight it that is also a notes so if there are questions of criticism these need to be written down so as to avoid being forgotten later so if you want to criticize some particular point in that particular paper like as i mentioned in the previous paper then that you have to highlight and you have to write it down because you should not forget that because that is a big thing that is a big thing that you found out that you are an expert in that particular field and they have done something wrong and you want to go you are going to report it to the journal and as well as the author so that is very important that you have to write it down so such efforts pay significantly when one has to go back and reread the same content after a long long time so again after a long period of time you don't have to read whole paper once you see the paper or the those notes which are marked or highlighted you know, or have written on the margins of the uh, papers you will completely you will come to know 
so on completing a thorough reading a good technical reading should end with a summary of a paper in few sentences describing the contribution that is what i explained you in review of literature so when you read whole paper you should make notes in such a way that you can you can you should be able to make a summary summary it should like for example 20 pages of uh, paper is there in that you will be should be able to make around at least five points in that particular this thing or maybe 10 points that should be the maximum not more than that so that's how that is the that is how the you no know, taking notes takes place but to elucidate the technical merit the paper needs to be looked at from comparative perspective with the with respect to the existing works in a specific area that means uh, now imagine if you are speaking about technical merit or some particular technical part all other things and all so it usually helpful in res uh, results and develop, uh, results and discussion when the results and discussion is happening so you should be knowing more deeper knowledge in that particular paper there you cannot simply take notes so you should know what are the technical terminologies parameters and uh, th formulas if it required all those things you should write it down and uh, based on that you, you should see this paper I have got so and so for example if i would like to say as in solar cell efficiency a uh, solar cell efficiency in paper one is around 20 percent if paper two is around 21 percent paper three 23 paper four 24 paper five 25 so in that all the fibers what are the different things they have done and why the one percent each increment in all this particular paper for every paper so that need to be determined or uh, taken note into consideration so that ha that's how uh, uh, you, uh, you have to see with respect to the existing works in the specific area a thorough reading should bring out whether there are new ideas in the paper so obviously when you read it completely thoroughly the whole paper will come to know that if there is any if there are any new ideas which are presented sometimes the paper uh, research group they will not simply write there whatever they have done they will also tell and conclude that they we can do so and so so and so so with that you will get some new ideas whether you are getting those new ideas that is also can be written okay because that is not mentioned in the paper but after reading their papers you will come you will get some new ideas that can be noted down or if existing ideas were implemented uh, um, through the experiments that means if already existing ideas are there whether i can include those ideas in these particular these experiments whether i can use it or in the new applications also so if different existing ideas were brought together under a novel framework so that is also can be seen whether i can have a different ideas collectively to solve a particular problem so obviously a type of contribution uh, the type of the contribution a paper is actually making can be determined better by having read other papers in the area so you cannot simply read one paper and you can say that uh, so and so and so we cannot make much comments if you read one paper if you can read a number of papers in a particular area as i told you 100 you download 100 but only 35 to 40 will be helpful for you those 35 to 40 papers you have to critically read creatively reading it and then only you can able to make the notes and those notes will be helpful to determine whether uh, the particular contributions of a particular paper how important they are and they need to be compared so that's it the next topic is reading mathematics and algorithms that we'll discuss in the next class